Hello, this is a tutorial video for Midas NFX. I will show you today the pillar box analysis and talk about the cleanup and the various post-processing features. So this is a pillar box model and uh, the objective of this tutorial will to teach you how to clean up your ge geometrical model and also how to define a symmetric condition. So let's just uh, go into the software. So here is the designer mode of minus NFX. So I will click on new project and import my CAD model. You can import a lot of CAD model types and I will choose this model. Now the first thing I will do is to clean up the model. So I will click on simplify and when you click on find you will be able to find all the small holes in your model uh, and I will just delete these holes because they have no impact on the analysis but they will create very small mesh around the hole and it will be a bad thing for to obtain good results in these areas. So let's check for the fillets also. Uh, so same thing I don't really need these fillets, they have no impact, so I will remove them. Now, next step is to assign a material. So, I will add a new material and you can choose it from the library. So, I will use just an aluminum alloy, uh, this one. Okay, you can review the coefficients here and uh, modify them if you want. Okay, and to uh, assign it, you just drag and drop it on your model. And you can verify here uh, it has been assigned. Okay, alloy. And at the same time, you can do the mass and the volume of your model. Okay, now uh, what I will do is that I will assign the constraints. So I will fix um, these two holes. Uh, okay, fix, and I will use a uh, force on this surface. In the, uh, you can check direct direction here. Uh, so the direction e here is uh, y, and I will put a uh, big load. Okay. And as you see, it's a dummy model. So I will have to assign a symmetrical condition. So let's uh, select support here. Just have to select these two faces. Select symmetry and OK. Now you don't have to mesh it. So click on auto mesh. Uh, you can select some more advanced options like the high order elements. Uh, Okay, I didn't even saw the meshing, it was too fast. <laughs> uh, here you see your model. Now create the analysis case, so clicking on general. Um, you can enter a name, let's say pillow box, and choose the type of analysis you want to do, linear static. And always verify you have all the boundaries and the loads assigned. Uh, if not, you will see it like that, and you can click on this button to assign all. You can also uh, define some analysis control option by, by clicking here. Okay. And perform. Now the solver will solve uh, this analysis. Okay, now you can watch your results uh, in the Analysis and Results tab on the left. You have three basic results, the total displacement here. So you can view the minimum and maximum uh, on this graph. And um, 
as it's a semi model you can view the full model by clicking on mirror plane then select uh, the mirror plane if you want to see uh, the deformation and compare it with the, the undeformed shape you can activate this function and if you want to see it bigger you can auto scale to increase the deformation you can also view the animation by clicking here let's look at the solid stress also so it's very interesting because you can zoom on the areas where the stress is happening so you, you see around these holes in this part I have a lot of stress and uh, you can use the eyes of value to show you uh, where the stress is mainly happening so you can view here in this model the stress is important in this area so what you can do also is to draw a curve a diagram so here on curve you can select two points on your model and view um, the, the form of the stress here is increasing uh, like that on this part and the maximum of the value is in this place if you want to check the value uh, at some precise point you can use the probe tool and uh, just select uh, the places uh, ah, this is the symmetric shape yes you have to select it here view the results in the places you want okay this was all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching